Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're with me today. Um, so in this video, I do this look, which is my Valentine's Day inspired look. Um, I knew that I didn't want to do pinks. I knew I wanted to do more of like purples and kind of neutral tones that anybody could wear. Um, I really like how it turned out. When I went into filming this video, I had no idea really what I was going to do. I just knew that um, I really, really wanted to use the Too Faced Semi Sweet palette because I've been obsessed with this lately. So I knew I wanted to do something with this. But then I also knew that I wanted to do something with the electric, the Urban Decay Electric palette, um, specifically this, the jilted color, because when I look at like jilted Urban and Savage, that screams Valentine's Day to me. So I knew I wanted to do something with both of these palettes, but I wasn't really sure what, but I really, really like how it turned out. Um, I think that this look is really kind of sweet but very sultry as well because it's sweet because of the winged liner, it's really girly, it's really feminine, but then also like the pop of purple just makes it kind of sultry and a little bit sexy as well. So I definitely think that you could use this look during daytime or nighttime. Um, if you wanted, you could even add a little bit more black in the corners on the bottom or do a little bit more uh, black eyeliner and you could definitely make this a more nighttime appropriate look as well as darkening up the crease. But I still wanted to make it kind of neutral as well so that, you know, you could change up the color underneath. You could use browns, you could use pinks, you could use reds, you could use maroon, you could use green, you could use blue, whatever color you want on the bottom. But I knew for Valentine's Day I really wanted to stick with the purples. Also, I was super, super excited about this lip color. It's the new NARS um, Audacious Lipstick. It's the one in Anita. So it's definitely kind of a neutral, mauve kind of color that definitely brings out the purple and goes really well with purples. So I'm so excited about this look. I hope you guys like it. And if you want to learn how to do it, just keep watching. And I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. I love you all. Bye. Okay, I know I look so tired and pale, but let's get started. Actually, after I drink my vanilla chai tea. Okay, I'm going to start out with my Sp Smashbox primer, the photo finish one. It's just the original clear one. I'm just going to smooth that all over my face, my forehead, um, and press it into my pores. I really want a flawless finish. And I really do like this stuff. Um, I don't know if it really prolongs the, lo the longevity of my foundation, but it definitely minimizes my pores. So then I'm going to spray with this new Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm going to spray my face. This stuff is amazing. It feels really good. It um, smells really good. And it definitely helps to create a base for the foundation. So I'm going to be using my Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation. Um, I love this stuff. I did do a whole review, so I will link that video down below for you. But um, I'm just going to kind of use my finger and dot it all over my face. I'm going to work in sections, though, because this foundation dries very fast. So I'm just going to start, like, on my cheek, and I'm going to kind of press it into the skin instead of really buffing it around because I find that it works better if you press it in. This foundation also lasts really long. So if you have a, a really long night planned for Valentine's Day, it'd be really good to last long. Um, so next I'm going to use concealer and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going to use this under my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, um, and on my chin just to kind of highlight but this color is really close to my skin tone so it's really just going to kind of be more of a natural highlight and not too stark white. I kind of want to th keep things looking really natural and just pretty um, because then you can wear this anywhere and I feel like it's a little bit more wearable look for anybody. So I'm just blending it in with this um, Real, Techni Real Techniques contour brush I believe. Um, I really like this brush for blending in the concealer, especially this NARS one, because the NARS one is kind of like a little bit thicker consistency, and this brush just blends it in so nicely and so quickly.
All right, next I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder um, to set my under eye concealer because I don't want it to crease and I just want it to not look as dewy either. Then I'm going to take a sip of my chai tea latte. It is a little bit early in the morning, guys. Give me a break. Okay, so next I'm going to prime my eyes. This is the Lorac um, Eye Primer. I don't know. It's the one that comes with the Lorac palettes. Um, so I'm just going to use this to create a really nice base for my neutral eye look. So I'm going to start off with this Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm going to start with the color Nougat and a big fluffy brush. I'm just going to kind of sweep this all over the crease, all the way pretty much up to the eyebrow. And all the way from outer corner to inner corner. Um, just to create a lot of dimension. And this color is pretty light, but it creates like a really nice shadow or contour for the eye. And then I'm going to go in with Mousse. And I'm going to use it on the same fluffy brush, but I am going to concentrate it just a little bit more into the crease, yet still going from outer corner to inner corner. This is just going to create a really nice blown out kind of fade from the crease up to the eyebrow. And the more colors you use from lightest to darkest, the more blended it's going to look. So I'm just using, I'm just going to go a step darker each time. So now I'm going to go in with this color Truffled, and it's a little bit darker, and I'm going to go on a little bit denser brush. This is a Sigma E25, I believe, and I'm going to just slowly build it, and I'm keeping this very concentrated in the crease. Um, I don't want to go too much higher, because again, I just want that kind of blown out, faded look. And these eyeshadows are so creamy and so blendable. I also did a review on this eyeshadow palette that I'll also link below if you guys want to see um, a little bit more in-depth review on it, but spoiler alert, I love it. <laughs> This is still that same truffled color. I'm just slowly building the intensity of it um, and keep on deepening the, the outer corner there um, just with that same color. And then I'm blending it out with this fluffy brush again just to keep everything seamless and no harsh lines. The next color that I'll be using is this Coconut Cream, and I'm going to use this as a brow highlight. It's still a matte highlight. I'm kind of keeping everything matte, um, but this is just a really nice, light, creamy color that I'm going to use under my brow. It's really not that stark white. It's really not that intense, but it adds just a nice like finish of that gradient. Now I'm just taking um, a random Coastal Scents like white eyeshadow on a concealer brush and I am patting this all over the lid. I wanted something here that was a lot more bright just to keep um, the lid really bright and neutral looking. So I'm using this on this dense concealer brush so it packs on the color. And this isn't really sparkly but it does have more of a satin finish than the mattes that I've been using. But I feel like this brings a lot of attention to the center of the eye and just looks so nice. To line my eyes, I'm going to be using my favorite liquid liner, which is the NYC liner, and this stuff is so black. So I'm just going to create kind of a really long wing just to create, like, elongate my eye and keep it looking really girly and feminine looking. Um, this liner is so easy to do a, um, a wing tip like this because it's such a tiny brush, but yet the, the liquid is so black. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't transfer, so I find that this liquid liner is the easiest to do a wing like this. Um, you could also try like a felt tip liner. The Kat Von D Tattoo Liner is a really good one. It has a really skinny um, tip, but this one is drugstore and really cheap. So I did that for both eyes. It was really hard to do the other eye in the camera, sorry. Um, I also just went and did my eyebrows off camera. 
Um, if you guys would like to see an eyebrow routine, just let me know in the comments below and I can do one. Now I'm taking that same mousse color on a pencil brush and just kind of using that as a transition shade underneath my eyes. And now I'm going to go in with the two purple colors. It's Jilted and Savage. And I'm just mixing them together and on the same pencil brush just blending it underneath my lash line. I am going from outer corner to inner corner and I'm trying to make sure that I connect the outer corner with the wing. And that's pretty much it. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner, um, and I'm just putting this um, on half of the waterline just to add some dimension on the bottom. And now I'm taking the new Too Faced Soulmates Bronzer Blush. I love this stuff. It's so creamy. And I'm using this just to basically warm up my face. It's not very strong. I'm not going to do a contour, a heavy contour. I just want it to keep everything looking really natural and keep the focus on the eyes. So this is kind of like the peachier one of the two. And I think it is so beautiful. It also has like a nice satin finish too. So it just kind of makes you look glowy and bronzy and very nice. This is also um, a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush that I'm going to put just on the apples of my cheeks. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name. I will have it listed below. Um, and it's just a pretty kind of peachy pink neutral color. Pretty. Next I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Baked Blush in, I think it's just called like pink. And it's definitely not a blush, it's definitely a highlighter. I've talked about this a bunch of times. And it's just a really natural glow. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it looks so pretty and natural and not glittery, glittery or chunky. Now I'm going to be taking my NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anita. And I'm going to be putting this on my lips. This color is so pretty. It's kind of like a neutral mauve tone. It's kind of hard to explain, but whenever you have different colors on your eyes, it brings out that color. So it goes with good with a lot of eye looks. And then I'm going to set my um, my face with this uh, L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray, which I love. And that is the finished look, guys. I hope you like this. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day, whether you have somebody to spend it with or you're solo. Please subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!